welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to design a simple nut bolt and we will do the animation and we will see how to do this animation it's a small animation we will see in, in solidworks how to do so let's see now here we will make the first part bolt m10 by 100 mm 100 mm length so choose front plane a sketch select center line and start from one end to origin point and convert it into an arc then a straight line little down then up to this point and connect the end point exit from the line now let's define this geometry Five mm the height. Make the dimension hundred mm. Six point six mm. One point five mm. Let's define this height. Seven point five mm, twelve point three two five mm. Okay. Now define this gap. Five point three eight mm. Now our our geometry is fully defined. Okay. Select here revolve boss base. Select this bottom line as a axis. Okay. Now this is the body of bolt. Select the part and go to metal and choose here nickel. We will prefer the raw material, satin finish nickel. See. Select this face, sketch, normal. Choose center rectangle. Now define the length. Ten point thirty eight mm. Ten point thirty eight mm. Okay. Now select. Extruded cut. Now select here, flip side. Choose here up to surface. Select this surface. Okay. Now see, we cut it some is square piece. Choose fillet. Select point two mm. Select this three radius. All the corners we prefer to make point two mm. Select these four edges also. Okay, and choose chamfer. Keep one mm and select the last and this face. Okay. Now this is the bolt shape. Now select this face, sketch, normal. Here we want to create a thread, so draw a circle here and keep the diameter eight point thirty eight mm. Now first we will create path for thread. So go to feature, just find out a one option helix and spiral. Now first we will create the path for helix for thread. Keep here pitch and revolution constant pitch. Pitch 1.5 mm and uh, reverse direction 17.33. It's okay. And here select zero degree. 
clockwise okay now select top plane a sketch normal see here we will create a triangle profile connect one end to the center line here we will make some relation first select the center line and make as a construction geometry again select and make relation vertical that's it first define the angle 65 degree and length 1.2 mm okay now the very important relation select this corner sharp edge press enter shift key and select this point uh, this uh, length or you can say arc and make pierce relation okay now the geometry is fully defined so simply exit go to feature and find out here swift cut select it now let's see see here profile selected just choose the path so select this helix path okay now see we cut it some threads at last end see the last end is stop we want to make a sharp edge so do one thing select this face sketch go to sketch and select here convert entities now see this triangle already converted or either you can draw it manually it's up to you feature and select extruded cut see we want to cut through all okay now it's going to that's it see now it's become a nice edge so this is the our first part furniture bolt m10 by 100 mm let's save it desktop select here furniture bolt furniture bolt and nut m10 by 100 mm open now this is the first part bolt save let's make the next part here next next part is nut make m10 nut so choose front plane sketch go to sketch and select here polygon and draw a six edges polygon make sure it is six edge okay now select this any top make relation horizontal now let's define this dimension 17 mm okay choose circle and define one circle inside and keep the diameter 8.38 mm okay now select extruded boss make the thickness 8.4 mm okay see we will define the material satin finish stainless steel again choose this face edit and we will select here mid plane okay see choose chamfer 1 mm and select this face 
okay now select this face sketch normal and draw a circle here we want to create a thread here inside thread keep 10 mm okay and select go to feature and find out helix and spiral method here we will sketch the path pitch and revolution constant pitch 1.5 pitch and revolution 6 number 180 degree clockwise and this one no need ok select of plane a sketch normal select triangle draw here one triangle center line select construction again select and make relation horizontal that's it now we will define some angle 65 mm uh, 65 degree select this line and make relation vertical ok choose the smart dimension and make the length 1.2 mm ok now select the sharp end point and select this path and make relation pierce ok now simply exit from the sketch go to feature and find out swift cut method select the profile already selected just select the path ok now see we created a cutouts thread cutouts inside select this face sketch normal and draw a circle up to this end make sure it is tangent to this face ok and select extruded cut and here choose flip side to cut and make the degree 45 degree 45 degree ok now see now this one we want to mirror it choose front plane mirror and select the last cutout extruded cut ok now see now this is the our nut M10 nut let's save this nut now let's make the last part washer now here we will make the last part washer choose front plane sketch go to feature sketch and select circle and draw here two circles choose the smart dimension and keep outer radius diameter 30 mm and inner 10.5 mm ok and go to feature and select extruded boss base keep mid plane or blind it's up to you and I prefer to keep the thickness 2.5 mm ok go to choose the satin finish stainless steel now save this part washer now let's start the assembly of furniture bolt and nut now here let's start the assembly of furniture nut bolt choose new assembly ok now this is the assembly window of SOLIDWORKS we will browse our first part select first part and press shift key and nut open plane so by default nut uh, bolt will be fixed 
we will insert the our last component also let's say washer choose mat select this bolt and inside face of washer okay now see the washer it will always moving now choose nut select the bolt and this face of washer uh, nut keep co centric relation okay now just go to mechanical mat choose the screw here select 0.1 revolution per mm now select the faces select this top face of screw thread and here all inside also the face of screw thread Zero point one mm revolution per. Okay, okay. Now let's see. It's moving. Now we will create some. Okay, so. just right click on this uh, tab and you will find here motion manager if you click then motion manager will open first save our assembly this is the assembly and i'll give assembly save now we will give the motion manager so go to motion study this is the motion study window select here motion analysis choose here option go to option frame per second 25 con 3d contact revolution i prefer 80 okay now right click on orientation and cam and select here disable playback of key okay now choose motor select here faces select this face and keep revolution 20 revolution per mm per minute okay now just start to play or select calculate see it's going drag up to drag up to 7 again edit okay just play so this is the beautiful motion relation i hope you enjoyed now let's we will give some exploded part select this face am not first take it out select this body and take little back washer select okay now right click on the assembly and select here collapse now select here calculate okay now go to animation wizard select explode finish duration make uh that's 3 uh, okay finish again select collapse next and here choose option 11 3 second finish 
now again calculate now you can see c is going to assemble and dismantle play take it out so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching